Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boom Boxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host. And you can tell that I am feeling so much better. I sound so much better than I did a couple of weeks ago. Actually about uh, 12 days, 13 days ago. Anyway, here comes Mr. Duke. Hello, Duke. All the Duke fans out there. Anyway, what we have here is this is a Fat 50 ammo can that I was requested to build. And I think it came out really nice. Um, he didn't want anything custom painted. He just wanted this one, the, the stock military green that came with. But it's got a lot of cool features. Um, we've got a six and a half inch kicker speaker here. We've got a six and a half inch kicker speaker here. I got a magnet right here that holds down the handle so it won't rattle. I didn't wrap the handle on this one. And as you can see on top here, we have these switches with guards. And I'm going to show you what those do in just a minute. And of course, here in the front, we have our treble, our bass, and our volume control. And of course, right here, we have our USB ports with the voltage gauge. And we also have a Type-C port, so you have a more modern phone. On this side over here... He wanted to be able to walk with it like this and have a flashlight feature right there. So if I turn on this switch right here, you can see how bright that is. And you can walk around. I mean, look at that. Brighter than most flashlights that you can buy. So that switch controls that. Now on the back here, he wanted some strobe lights. Of course, this is where you, you plug in your battery charger. It has a 16 amp hour lithium ion or lithium phosphate battery. I don't know what the Life Pro. I don't know. They call them all different things. It's a lithium battery, though. I don't do lead acid anymore. And it makes it a whole lot lighter. But anyway, he wants some strobe lights back here. So put the blue switch on. And there's the strobe lights. Now, the cool thing is there's a little switch right here, a little button. And if I press that button, it changes the flash patterns, as you can see. And I believe there's 15 different flash patterns on here let's see if we can find one that's cool and i think one of them does it just completely steady let's see there you go so you just have them just want to have them on like that and again you keep cycling through and they'll do different different patterns the way this works is there's a um a yellow wire that comes with the two the, you got your, your hot and your ground you have a yellow wire and you run that yellow wire to a this button right here it's like a doorbell switch you just press it in and it comes in and out and that sends just a little one second jolt of voltage on that yellow wire and that's what changes the flash pattern so anyway let me crank this thing up and see how it sounds some people don't like having speakers on two sides but let me tell you what's cool about that it really covers an area of almost 180 degrees with sound, especially if you, ooh, Duke, go. If you set it at an angle like this, you've got sound going that way, sound going that way, you're covering almost a full 180 degree sweep, so it really covers a lot more area with sound. It sounds really good. We'll leave it like that at an angle. And we might even turn the strobe lights on in a minute in the dark, but, Let's crank this thing up and see how it sounds. It's our master switch right here. And I've already got it paired to my phone here. And here we go. Whoops. There it goes. Now it's connected. It took a second. Okay, let's try this again. You ready, Tigra? Tigra's up there watching. Here we go.
Fat 50 ammo can. I haven't done an ammo can in a while. And I love doing these Fat 50s. And I've made a couple for this customer before. And he likes these uh, these switches here with the guards. And um, I think they look pretty cool. And they come in a variety of different colors. And um, like I said, I wanted this switch close to the flashlight. So that's so why I put that one right there like that. And them, them lights are bright. Now, if they're too bright for you, I can always put them on a dimmer. I put them on a dimmer switch on another build, so if you just want to light up a small area, not you know, I mean, heck, you can lean this thing back, search for aircraft at night. But anyway, this one came out cool. I'm gonna go ship this one off to the customer. So this one's going to South Dakota, and like I said, he's ordered a couple of them from me. So another happy customer, repeat customer. That's what I like to see. Um, those that are wondering, it's got a 200 watt amplifier in it. Uh, I am boosting it to 21 volts, I believe. Um, the RMS on these speakers is about 65 to 70. So with this particular amp, that's right in the sweet spot. They're probably getting about 70 watts each, which is more than enough for these uh, these kickers right here. These kickers sound fantastic. I really like these, these kickers a lot. I've used them in many, many, many builds. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Tigger's over here. He says hi. Duke says hi. Now, if you want me to build you something, I'm hearing from a lot of people in my email. So, if you want to email me, my email is very humble, V E R Y H U M B L E 777. So, very humble 777 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to help you out. And if you want to, I got ammo cans of all different sizes from small, medium, and I got the, the 40 millimeters of large. Or if you want, um, you know, the Apache cases, I got three of those, actually four I'm going to be working on real soon. And I'm working on making my version of the turtle box with the 6 by 9 inch speaker and the small Apache case. But that's coming up in a few weeks. I've got to... Uh, Get my money together and order the parts for it. The amp's going to take about a week or two to come in. And I've got some other Apache cases. So hopefully this weekend, you'll see another build. I'm going to do a build, a Apache case with two SCAR speakers and a kicker radio, marine radio. So that's going to be cool. So please hit that subscribe button so you'll know when that's going to come. And please hit that like button. Everybody's been hitting the like button, which is great. More and more people are seeing my videos. And that's what I want. So thank you all so much for watching. And we will see you this weekend with more builds.